Right. What well, would I drive with base a car? skill, we can just ride a bike the 1920s. there, right? Why would you drive a car in the 1920s? No, I would, in the 1920s, and I picked up my fear of all things electricity early on. Mm. So why would I have drive car skill? Well, like, uh, uh, like I said, a bicycle would be fun. He's got driven around. He never right. drove himself. You could do the same with a two-seater bike. Pretend you're Montgomery Burns. And I can afford to buy someone to drive me around. Yeah. Um, well, that's what the doc is for. <laughs> oh my god. That's just silly. Can he even ride a bicycle or a bike? I'm sure he'd have no problem <laughs> at it at all. <laughs> I'll try though. Yeah, another y y milk float. <laughs> <laughs> milk float. <laughs> <clears throat> well, let's just, let's walk. Let's just go. Let's let's do this. Let's get this done. Whoever, oh, we'll... Chris, are you stroking a comb or something? Not anymore. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, can I recommend a piece of white bread that you can squish? Better. So, uh, you're taking the whole team? Yeah. I guess. Alex, they want you to come with them. Right. right. You guys leave Burrito Man, as he is now known, and head out on your two-hour hike. Uh, from one of you, you guys can pick who. I'll take a luck roll to avoid running into anybody that you want to avoid. I was going to use counter surveillance. Counter surveillance will tell you if you're being followed in particular. Oh, okay. I'll but do it, surveillance. Oh, you know that there are people out on the streets. This is not this is not the issue. It's whether you run into them or not is the issue. Okay. I mean, you, if you wanted to stealth out all the way, you could just make a stealth roll and fuck the luck roll, but that's three rolls as opposed to one luck roll for just like, we wander over there. I'll make luck roll. Because Alex is really lucky. Yeah, but by half. More than half. Right. So you guys just blithely wander out there. Everybody's looking in different areas. Nobody thinks of, you know, uh, covering the area between some shitty rental property and a warehouse. So you guys pretty much just wander out there as though you have no cares in the world. You make it to the warehouse. You get out there. There's that one lone camera all the way over there, Chris, that you noticed before. It's still pointed in this direction. How high up is it? It's about two to three meters up. It's on top of a fence. Is it armored? Uh, no, no, not really. We just take out the camera. What do you think? Stop playing with your comb. It will, uh, it, it might uh, alert them that something is going on here if we take out the camera, but if we don't, then they see us anyway. I agree. Right. So. There might be ways of getting around the camera. You can't look in every, it's only looking in one direction. So is there no way we can get in without the camera seeing us? Oh, sure. You can go the around the other other entrance of the warehouse. But I just want to let you know that the camera is still pointed in this direction. Mm -hmm. Because it makes Chris make that face. <laughs> we'll go. All right. You guys go around to the other side. Chris, give me a luck roll on this other side, this new side, this Oh, yeah, this unsurveilled side. Excellent. Ha, 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 you say, going into the warehouse on your unsurveilled side. It shows a van pulling up. You know, it says cameras installed and shit. And they're like, dur, dur, dur. Anyway, meanwhile, you guys head on in. Um, you go over to the room of uh, multiple gunshots and murders uh, where you were before. And you're all standing there. Would you like to touch your power rings together, pull out the stick? What do you want to do? I was going to put my hand in a bag, and we're going to have to leave quickly after this if, if it doesn't do anything. Mm -hmm. As soon as the bag opens, the signal's going to come out. So I'm going to pull, I'll pull the stick out and see if it does anything. Like, I'll concentrate on it or something. See if closed. And that's all that happens? Yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys can all give me 
uh, I think everybody's tried in the past to roll, so I'll now downgrade the difficulty to essence times two to know what's going on. But if you get essence times one or a crit, let me know. It's special. Special. And you might get an essence roll here. Yana's not getting a fucking essence check. No. I got it by two, though. Ooh. Right. You you need some something something special, Matt. In order to open the the gate, some something needs to be some set of conditions needs to be met. But unfortunately, oh Chris, you are the gate. You all you have to do is slip. I try to plug the thing into myself somehow. There you go. That's what your belly button is for. Mm. You're pretty <laughs> sure of it with that 96. Yeah, you just plug it into your belly button and or or the other hole in the back. You've been waiting a long time for this, Chris. You've never really been sure what that other hole is for. It can't just be all an outgoing thing. It has to have an incoming thing as well. Well, that's where bacon comes from, too. That's where what? Bacon, Bacon. that's right. (laughs) Oh, that's fucking horrible. Um, So, yeah, you're pretty sure if if you shove the stick either into your belly button or up your ass, then um, it will open the gate. It didn't work. You did it? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Oh, all right. I was going to say, Yanni, you learned a lot about your new teammate in a very short time. I see. <laughs> so this isn't working, guys. I don't know. I don't I don't understand. Mm. But, yeah, Matt, you were, you're thinking that you're not sure what, what the condition or activity or whatever is, but... Uh, if you're a better wizard and rolled a lot better, then you might get a hint. But knowing these things is very How difficult. How about an alertness card on top of that roll? And now that'll just help you pick up something that was previously missed, I believe. How about a spell break card to break any spell that's currently on me, which you, like, because we're in some fucking matrix shit. I'm thinking all that would do is get rid of your breathing spell you've got running, mm-hmm. which would be quite a bummer for you. It's like, oh, the filter shit. I wish I'd installed them. Although that would be funny. Quit it, bitches. All right. All right. So are you guys leave the area scarper now? Yeah. yeah. You guys you guys get the fuck out. I'm sure the bad guys will show up and sweep the area and she we could watch to see if any, like, to see who comes here first, what the response time is. Mm. Could do that. Excellent. Yeah. Nobody shows up within a half an hour of you guys observing. Okay. Oh, okay. Plug that thing into something? Chris knows. Chris knows where to Not plug your it buddy in. button. <laughs> Freaks. If you heard the butt bacon episode, it all becomes self evident. I'm going to call it butt bacon, too. Butt bacon. <sighs> right. So. so, what do we do? Well, Chris, throw the comb over your shoulder. Sorry. Just go, wee. I need a new pencil. Where's the other one? No. <laughs> Wait, can you hear that? Whoa. Excellent. Hmm, good. It's a pencil that doesn't make the clicky clicks. It makes Logan go nutty nuts. <laughs> we like it when Logan goes nutty nuts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I'm thinking you need a fucking fidget spinner is what I'm thinking. Me? Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. Those things are fucking dumb. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, they, it's not quite as entertaining as a pet rock, I agree. Moving on. What do you guys do now? It appears that your your plans have been thwarted by stuff. I guess we should go back to where we live. 
check in check uh, check in on the on our subject there subject it's so cold <laughs> should i call him lover or what <laughs> it's up to you yeah whatever gets on in your relationship is okay with me <laughs> Glad to hear it. Now. <laughs> so, go back to the apartment, I guess. Right. You guys walk your ass back there. Alex, give me a luck roll not to run into anybody that you would like to avoid. If this roll fails, everybody gets to make a stealth roll. Okay, God okay. damn it. <laughs> you guys make it back to the Grotty Grot place. You've been gone for four hours. The guy attempts an amazingly difficult con-type role to see if he can wake up, worm his way out, and escape. No, he's fucking your prisoner until you feel like letting him go. You may not even come conscious with that fucking role. That's a fumble. So, yeah, he's probably in a fucking coma. <laughs> nice. On the phone, once we get back to Alex's house... Yep. Um, I send a message to I, like I just, you know, to whoever sent me the message. Sure. Where's the gate? Um, there is no answer. It seems to not be a, um, anything coming back at all. After waiting around for an hour and playing with your new cleaning supplies, you're convinced that you'll never ever receive an answer to that question. You're convinced that never, ever going to happen. Never, ever, ever, never, ever, ever, never, never going to happen. No. Is there a hacker named Death that might be? Oh. Or... There was, but uh, according to your research, he died. Okay. Death is yours, obviously. Hmm. Oh, uh, everybody can do a memory roll. This won't give you any specific information, but if you succeed, it will lo allow Logan to taunt you. Excellent. Yana is feeling confident and happy and stuff. Yay. <laughs> I did not make mine. Right. Alex knows that he knows, but he does not know what it is. That's as close as, in other words, you've already been given the information. Good luck. We're all counting on you. For what? Yes. What, you... The the answer to the question. What? That's the answer? Yes. When you see it, you'll go, that's stupid. You <laughs> suck. I hate you. What well, is Logan? Mm. Yep. Mm. Enjoy. But I'm not expecting anybody to actually solve that. I'm expecting you to be tortured to death by random groups of NPCs and stuff later. <laughs> so, happy days. Okay, so, for my own New World Industries, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is a conglomerate, correct? I think so. Um, Sorry, go ahead, Yana. No. I said just I think so. Or is it just a large company that owns other a couple other companies? It's a shadowy entity. So that's probably top of the food chain. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do they own... And they own Chrome Blades now? Yeah. Uh... Very indirectly, yes. Or by Chrome Blades, you mean Chrome something else, yes. Is it, oh, Blaze. Blaze, sorry. Yes. Blaze. Blaze. Okay. Yes. Yeah, Chrome Blaze. Yeah, I thought you said the Blades. And Chrome Blaze is what exactly? Uh, a very small company. Based out of Minsk, Belarus, run by uh, Harlem Morgan. Um, they have a small, basically empty office in the flyby building here. Um, 
so it's kind of I think it's more of a bloody cover company because the company was quite small and the fact that they could buy out um, the company the size that um, the company that bought, bought out Paradigm, Paradigm right? Yeah, which was a much bigger company. So everyone was like, even with the massive loss in stock, there's no way Chrome Blaze should have been able to afford that company. So, you know, obviously they are fucking, I think it was quite a hard dig to get the fact that Chrome Blaze was then connected to New World Industries, which is obviously a massive conglomerate based out of India. So New World owns Chrome Blaze indirectly, like through... Like a subsidiary company or something right. like that. So that's why, that's who's backing them. And that's why they, that's how they were able to buy Paradigm, which is a re- reasonably sized company. Yeah, it's a pretty big sized gaming company. And Paradigm is the one that has the coffins, right? Yeah. They're the ones that had this game that was like complete immersion type thing. Mm-hmm. Not that I know anything about that stuff. But you know, I'm learning. You might not like it, but at I least you know like about it. it and that's I'm fine. Learning. Um, and then New World Industries, this is where I kind of got a bit lost, but they had, apparently it's, they, they had like three owners or something. Edward Chandler, I think, was the first one. And then I got bored of Logan's ranting and I kind of trailed off. Or I think I had to go and do some washing or something. So, whatever, cock. Eat a cock. <laughs> And Chrome Blaze is located within this megaplex. Uh, they have an office there, but again, it's it's from when we went there, it seemed like more of a shell. Um, I don't think you really have directly people working out of there. I think they use it every now and again, very rarely, but generally speaking, it's just like almost a place that mail can be sent to, type thing. So, almost where's like Paradigm a, based out of? Uh, I believe the same city. So it's in this megaplex paradigm. Well, I don't think it. I don't know. I don't think they are anymore. Can I do a research on paradigm? Yes. Got it. Paradigm was a, a idealistic, uh, well-seeming or well-meaning company that sprung up gamers helping other gamers type thing, but with backing and resources and actual shit to get shit done as opposed to a love fest. And they were based here, here in San Angeles. But uh, they, um, due to the massive amounts of lawsuits when uh, they were having trouble reviving gamers who had gotten immersed in their game, uh, they needed a lot of money for their uh, legal battles i.e. lawyers, and um, so the, their legal battles are still ongoing, and uh, they had to sell um, their material assets, which means coffins, but the gamers were inside the coffins, hence they pretty much sold all the people that they had. Okay. Who owned Paradigm? Uh that's not really clear. It was a board of directors type of thing. The head uh, stepped down, took a golden parachute, and disappeared off the grid uh, to somewhere else at the first sniff of fucking trouble. Because gamers only help gamers so much. And then they fucking run away to a non-extradition country. Do we know who was... Who came up with the? Who came up with the, uh, the tech, for the immersion thing? No, uh, that that is not a matter of public record. Especially, uh, people speculate that. Uh, give me a research role, for Logan to continue rambling. Got it. People, people believe that the reason that they never made it clear who the tech was is because of religious nut jobs who believe that you know, uh, a getting getting uh, temporarily out of your mind to go somewhere else and have fun was against anything God wanted, i.e., to stay here and suffer. 
with them. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna toss some ideas at you guys now about yeah. what might be going on. Mm. So you've so Patty, you've told me that people can get possessed by other things like these agents or something, or like there's something that can take over people and then they like get weird and then they come after you. I just kind of made that up, but yeah, it could happen. Oh, <laughs> but that's not real. <laughs> I don't have any irrefutable proof, but it's kind of no, what I was like, 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 just, you know. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, sure. Yeah, speculation. Yeah, that's a good one. So, yeah, I'm going to increase and reduce hands. <laughs> so, uh, no, I'm mean, oh. for fucker. So, uh, no, you got five. Oh, sorry. Uh, Matt and Yana, reduce your hands. Go on, Chris. So maybe with these, this immersion thing that was bought by the New World Industries, basically, or Chrome Blaze, um, maybe they're looking for ways to actually do that. Because well, there's the agents out there. Like, I, I saw that weirdness in Burlington. You guys have both been to Burlington, yes? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where's yeah. Rick's I think, yeah. <laughs> We deliver the milk. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> did you guys encounter the guards and whatnot? And did you? Yeah. But it's, I, I don't know, because like, the. They were like robots. Yeah. Mm. The people that are plugged in here, apparently, their consciousness is in the game thing, the other world game place. So I'm not sure. So is this place more real than the other place? Ooh, uh, I don't know what is real anymore. I don't know. Yeah. I I I think it's like different levels. Like I don't think this is don't real. Don't say inception. Don't say inception. Dream within a dream yeah. within a dream. Suck a cock. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Unless you're scary, Terry. Okay, and you've been to right back. Chrome Blaze, you said. We went to the building it's in. It's a massive, massive building with many, many cameras, which this guy, pointing to the tied up Parker, was going to shut all the cameras off for us on one night. I don't yeah. think he's going to do that anymore. <laughs> 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 I and he didn't even get his VIP bunk bike seats either. Poor fella. So he was going to shut all the cameras off for us because the cameras were definitely like, you, you wouldn't, unless someone can do the cameras, you ain't got a chance. There's cameras everywhere. And and to be honest, like I said, if, except for maybe a really lucky find, I don't see personally the point of breaking into the office. I'm not sure what we'll find there because... I couldn't say the lady, it's just, it's just like, it's a bare office. Mm. I don't really, it's not used. Um, it, it's kind of more of a satellite office, I guess you'd call it. So, you know, they use it very rarely when they happen to be in town. But apart from that, they don't use it as like anything special. Okay, so if Paradigm, that was bought out, we could always check out Paradigm and see if there's anything left there, even though it's not running anymore like we could always check that out to get some more information that yeah i mean we, we try to track down we try to track down if paradigm had any warehouses where they might be keeping these coffins but i, I think we found out that they, they were already pretty much all gone so i'm not sure if we need to be looking for paradigm or mm. like crowd place and new world industries and where their shit is Trouble is, New World Industries is in India. So unless we want to take a long ass flight to India, that's going to no. be hard to. Think. They're probably not. They're probably based in India. Mm -hmm. But it wouldn't be bad to try and find out if New World Order or Chrome Blaze have, if we can, purchased any warehouses in the city. Because mm. that could be something. Yeah. Something. Even if they've already shipped on all the coffins. They would probably have at least a paper trail. Because I can do paper trails. It's not fucking electricity. <laughs> but it will be electronic or paper trail. Suck a kit, big Logan. Suck a dick. <laughs> you and your fucking steampunk, Alex Killian, steampunk. Of, no, steampunk, whatever. 
The other one. Shut up, you. It would be so cool if Alex Kidley is a robot, so that he is electricity himself. <laughs> yeah. So, look, I want to do research to find out if uh, Chrome Blaze has any other offices or warehouses in, in the Megaplex anywhere. Ah, uh, Chrome Blaze. Very well. Good luck. We're all counting on you. Cut by half. No. Yeah, they they seem to have, have uh, there's definitely purchases of stuff, but it's been obfuscated really well to the point where pretty much it's either regular accounting at negative 30 or forensic accounting at full. Plus, you need access to stuff that is not on the Internet is your guess, i.e. breaking and entering or bribery or whatever means you want to use to get records and shit or even possibly city hall type stuff. But again, it's, it's all on computer, but it just may not be connected to the Internet type computer stuff. Which it's, is why you need to sometimes break in to get stuff because it's not, yeah, they want it secure. Got it? Yeah, air gap, no, I think, is what they call it. No no easy, just nothing public that is uh, easy. You're pretty get. sure that they've got shit and that they've got a major shit, but where that shit is, obfuscated really well. Okay. And par what about Paradigm? I'm just curious. I'd like to know if they have anything... I know that they're, since they're not really you, an active company anymore, maybe it'll be easier to find information on them or old places that they used to be in. Sure, give me a research role. Your phone is fucking doing overtime. You've got it plugged into the wall and stuff. You've had to put a fucking stick into the wall to recharge the electricity credits and shit. No? Nah. Nah, yeah. court stuff. That's pretty much all it's you're finding. Court stuff. Got it. Court stuff. Court stuff. Can I try again at half? Sure. Yeah. Got it. God damn it. <laughs> right. Um, it seems that all of their assets are either seized or have been sold in order to fund their massive titanic legal battle as they are slowly sinking out of existence. So uh, anything that if they've got any warehouses, etc., then they are the courts now, which could mean that it's some chained up warehouse somewhere, blah, blah, blah. Well, can we like, can I track down where some of these places might be? Uh, yeah, you're going to need to get hold of some other documents that, again, aren't really public record on the Internet. But, yeah, yeah, you've got a good idea where to start. You just need to get, like, uh, if you are to break into the courthouse, that would be a really good start or get hold of those legal documents and maybe bump off a couple of judges and bribe some politicians. Or we could just go there in the morning and, like, do public research there. Oh, well, yeah, you could do that as well. I mean, either yeah. way. <laughs> Yay. Do you guys have any other ideas? Or? No, really. Hmm. No. Yeah. Hey, Logan, I want to pull up, uh, like, was there any newscasts about the coffins and the whole legal things? Because I'm sure that might have been news if it was a big thing. Lots. Lots. I'll, I'll watch some of that for a bit and for the rest of the night until hey, we go to sleep and wake up in the morning. Morning. The only time they show the coffins and stuff is in stock footage. However, you do find out something useful through this, and I'll even give you a card. Here's a card, Chris. Pew, you got a card. Look at you with your card. You can make fun of all the non-card people and shit now. Because it's the same stock footage every time, but that does tell you stuff. And it'll be stuff that will upset Alex Kinley, so it's best to tell him that right away to make sure he's hit maximum upsetitude. 
always. And there we go, moving you over. Right, and clearing away some darkness. Now, the coffins are like this, except the big change is that they are also filled with some sort of goo, a semi-translucent, you can see the person in there type of goo. But look how big those fuckers are. I'm guessing the goo doesn't look similar to the goo that was coming out of the stick, does it? No, but I'll give you a card for trying to connect the goos. Here you go. I like connecting the goos. It's one of my favorite things. Indeed connect it the goo. is. Mm -hmm. Connect the goo. Yes. Do. Don't cross the streams. So, yeah. But as you can see, those, those coffin things, which nobody fucking told you at the beginning, are massive. Massive. They're like... So they show footage of these massive coffins. Well, they're showing stock footage, and then they do the thing where they crop the reporter in as though they were standing there. But since it's the same stock footage and you've watched several shows, none of them have actually been there. But So yeah. on those massive things, or is there... Rewinding a little bit. Sure, sure. Watch. Just the background. I don't care what she, what's being said anymore. So that's going to take a lot of electricity too. So that and these are massive. Yes, electricity, is there, goo. God is there what. any markings on the like who made them? Besides, because I'm sure it wasn't Paradigm mm -hmm. that made them, unless they um, like. Well, they they their brand logo is on all of them. So, so Paradigm somebody else made them. And everything. Yeah, yeah. If somebody else made them, then they didn't get any credit. Reduce your hand by one match, you horrible bastard. Is there something in the background of the footage, something recognizable? What you guys something? are clustered around something the size of a cell phone screen trying to <laughs> fucking see this, wishing that you had a fucking good TV, but the only TV that you used to have has got a fucking hole in the middle of it and the fire extinguisher through it. And it's sitting right over there. <laughs> it used to be a pretty decent flat screen TV. It came free with your lifestyle thing. But somebody immediately smashed the fuck out of a yelling demons. Give you guesses many, as to who. How many people were in these coffins? One per. And how many people, like how many people were? Oh, I'm going to give you another card for asking that. There's about 5,000 people. Wow. That's a lot. And that's massive. You said these coffins. Yeah, that's... Yeah. That's one hell of a warehouse. Or it's in a skyscraper, probably. Or... Another choice? What's the other choice? Now, now you're fucking with me, Logan. I'm going to come find you and punch you really hard. I'm in England. I have enough money to get there right now. I'll come find you. Fuck. So time. your choices are they're either in this building, they're in this warehouse, or... <clears throat> It's it's like something so dumb that we're not thinking about it. I'm gonna put it right at the top. There you go, there you go Logan. <laughs> There's so, your picture. So you, we can we quickly so I have to deal with um house buying shit. Hmm. Oh, is it going forward? Well, she's still asking for shit, but I've already sent over twice and she's pissing me off. Yes. So what sorry, what are we trying to work out? Chris, I'll let you describe your boggle. So there's five thousand people. In these massive coffins. Yeah, that would be my family. Oh. Oh, 5,000. 5,000. So, and each one is like the size of a car. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Of a large car. If, at that. Maybe even a van, like a van. Right. So, there's 5,000 vans somewhere. It's a warehouse. I thought maybe like a large building. Odd. Uh, Right. Underground somewhere. Or? See, and there's that fucking or, and I'm going to 
get an oar and beat him with it. Like, take it from a robot. So we're not thinking that it's in the city. Beat him about his head and shoulders. What? Like, this footage can be from anywhere. So what if it's, like, something virtual? What if it isn't even a real place? Like, it can be anything. Ooh, I'm going to give Yana a card for extreme paranoia. I enjoy her cultivating that in this game. Uh-huh. Or, or is it potential that they could have been shipped to India where New World Industries is based? That, that's a lot of shipping, and that's a lot of... Because if they need to keep them people alive as well, that's going to suck a lot of power. So that's probably near somewhere that has... Power station. Hmm. Like I, I could see that, especially if there's backups. Mm. So we're trying to think of... Can we not do that? Can we try and find, like, if a particular part of the city is having extremely massive power draws at the moment? Oh, my God. Are you kidding? Everywhere in this city uses devil electricity. Yeah, but not that much. Oh, yeah. No, they're using... 5,000 of those. Oh, sure. Well, you're not even sure how much they use and stuff. Per. It could it could be on a very low power thing. It just, you know... Whenever reporters come by, they put on extra lights and shit. What about the whole cryo side to it? Or is that the liquid? So it's not cryo, is it? It's liquid. It's goo. So then it's nothing to do with coldness. No. Goo. Mm. So would you think? Would you say that those uh, coffins are like five by ten? Hmm. Um, eh, yeah, sure, why not? I mean, you're, you're trying to figure out how many square feet they would take up? I'd say, like, a good-sized container ship or something like that. You are on the seacoast. You can put them on a container ship if you wanted. I mean, container ships can hold 5,000 cars, no problem. How many large corporations have properties that are as big as a container ship? Many. This is San Angeles. This is okay. crazy. It's a megaplex. Got yeah. it. Yeah. It, there's a lot of room to hide a lot of evils here. If only you could find the gatekeeper. You're the gatekeeper. Oh, then good. No, you're the key master. I know. I was fucking with you, Logan. Ah. <laughs> We need to find the what? Hmm. Gatekeeper. Right, do a search for Zool. Duck. Search for Zool. Do it. Do it. Ah. <laughs> uh... hmm. Right, hold on. Fortunately, there's all kinds of stuff you guys can still do, so I do not feel at all worried about this. But it's mm -hmm. good that you're trying to figure shit out rather than just acting. Hmm. Uh, that gives me an idea. Hello, my baby. Hello, my baby. Is the chick <laughs> somehow connected to the new industries, or is it a separate thing? Good question. I have a card. Thank do we know something about it? No, because every time I try to use the chip, um, they come for us rather yeah. quickly, and I don't know enough about computers to yeah. access it because it's encrypted. And I mean, the people, guy yeah. Yeah. could help us if he's not scared the shit out of us still. Yeah. And the uh, people who come are gangsters? Or? Well... The mints are after it because, well, we stole it from them. They just know yeah. that it's worth money, which is why they're after us. That's what I'm thinking. Um, there is... Hold on. Mm. There is a quick response team that is after us, and uh, I'm not sure who they are, but mm -hmm. they do come out, and they are well-funded, probably like a corporate uh, task force of some kind. Yeah, because they, they have a lot of similar things. Um, mm. Did they? Did any of their their uniforms have markings on them, Logan, or any of their vehicles have markings? You were too far away to get a good look at that, sir. Okay, I fucking accepted it. I like. I wonder if they are corporate funded 
it could be somebody from like the new industries or paradigm or something. Are we gonna be drinking the big bottle of whiskey when your house gets bought? No. God damn it. You can have your cheap, you can have your cheap ten bucks a box of wine, you bitch. Now game on game monkey game. Right. What, we what, need to... what if we <laughs> <laughs> would it be possible to like kidnap one of the quick response team people and try to figure out who they are. Like, move yeah, them mean. out. I mean, it's possible, but they're good. And they're like, yeah. they're really good. Oh. And uh, they're scary. Okay, so not a good idea. Yeah, drink the wine behind you. <laughs> no. I'm glad she's not drinking during game session. I mean, you got this. I could just see like three or four empty bottles of wine next to the game back again. Actually, there are some right there. <laughs> you say clink, clink, clink. Like, yeah. What the fuck? Right. We need to figure out. God, I hate it when Logan does. Why would you give me a memory roll, but then not allow me to this is your you know what it is, you're gonna hit yourself when you fucking shut up. <laughs> yeah. He likes to torture us. That's his uh yeah. his lot in life. Again, I already know because we haven't done a lot in this place. I'm thinking back over stuff. Oh I'm like Yeah, of course I am. And I'm like, I know that I just know this is gonna be a stupid answer. It's like your riddle is death is the answer or whatever. Alright, so like, you might know it. You might know well, it. Apparently. It's simple. Think about simple. Don't go deep. Try to I keep it. But I do like it deep. I do like it really deep. I'm Christmas folk. Um Yeah. It's it, there's not really a lot to go deep on. We haven't done a no, lot. No, no, keep it simple. Simple things. Don't think about the weird crazies. No, it's simple. I, I mean, like... We might be thinking... Oh, we might be overthinking is what I'm... I mean, let's, yeah. Uh, we could go... Uh, well, maybe they've left a message in the Blood Dome. I mean, death is the answer. That would be like a Blood Dome motto almost. Mm. Or is it maybe... I don't think I've heard that motto anywhere. Maybe not the... Can it be in the hold anymore? No. We haven't really been. We've been to like a warehouse, the Holden Wall, the Blood Dome. I would, I would like to point out that everybody has seen uh, and stuff that that would give you the answer. But I'm only torturing Alex because he's the only one who made a luck roll. Mm. So good luck. Okay. This is why Yana drinks after the games. Right here. <laughs> it's nothing to do with baby sex, is it? <laughs> It's not. I, I don't. I don't suppose death is the answer. It's baby so new. God, no, no. It's more along the lines of we'll keep. Uh, you know, live. You live your life to the fullest, without encumbrance or something like that. We saw an, an advert for that. We saw an advert. Well, we saw a, a, the people advertising the return of this stick for like a hundred thousand. Oh, the address that we're supposed to take the stick to. Uh, last game, yeah. there's that building there. What is that building? Who owns that building? Oh, oh! You you've actually never been there, but you can look up the building online. Yeah, because I wouldn't I go just, anywhere near that fucking place. Because I reckon that's going to be like G-Man HQ. You know what I mean? Like walk in there. <laughs> um. Well, actually, you can you you can uh, go there virtually. Well, you can't, but the other two yeah. can. See, this is the great thing. We finally got someone who can research on the computer. <laughs> sure, Chris, give me a simple research roll. If you if you miss it by twenty, you're still going to make part of it. But the research of full is to find out a little bit more information. Hmm? Oh, great. Okay, uh, it's a rental building. You can rent it out when it becomes free again. But right now, the building is rented for next uh, three months. After that, if you wish to rent it, you may. Um, it's got the cost, et cetera, et cetera. It's not cheap, but it's not 
horrible either. Um, but they also have a lot of newscasts of what's going on out there. And so I will go ahead and give you guys the description as though you were to go there, uh, which you are reading off to Alex because he is like hiding in the background because he knows that right now the electricity is seeping into your brains and altering your perception of reality. Sensing uh, electricity. Yes! He, he goes over and begins smashing part of the wall at random where he's determined that there's electricity. It shows a small listening device go dead, and he's like, yes, kill, kill. So, yeah, who knows what kind of weird shit's going on there. Um, right, let's see here. Um, it looks like there's a long line. The reason you're seeing this is because there's there was some news reporters and stuff that were, were on it, obviously. But... Um, the, there's a sign on the building that reads, be advised, if you have the correct object, you will need to show your face to receive payment. Unfortunately for them, for the 100,000 creds that they're offering, they for this kind of money, it brings out the insane and the desperate and the desperately insane. <laughs> there are people that have anything standing in line from right the toothbrush there's a guy who has a cat another guy has a doll one dude has a pickle um <laughs> and there are guards going up and down uh you find out from the the news and stuff these are the black ford mercenaries black ford all one word mercenaries they're going up and down the line weeding out anybody who does not have a at least somewhat black thumb drive Sometimes they, uh, like if somebody resists, like the guy with the pickles, like, no, no, I have a right to be here. And they just fucking grabbed him and took him out of line and beat the shit out of him and then pushed him on his merry way. Because if you are a corporation here, that's perfectly legal. Human rights, law and order, things like this have very little meaning here. Um, there also seem to be, uh, everybody give me... Uh, oh, I'll let Spot go for this. You're trying to get an accurate count on moving around guards from different camera angles and shit. I'm guessing not me, right? I'm not no, you're, you're, you know better. You you can see their eyes. Are, when you're looking at their eyes from the other part of the room, you can see the electricity flickering on them. It's probably worming its way in. Is this a, is this a full insanity also of Alex's? Or is it just a quirk right now? I just quit right now. Okay, because I'm thinking that when it becomes a full insanity, it might be a good idea to purchase a melon baller because you can take out those fucking evil lying eyes mm. with a melon baller. Yeah. So how'd you guys do on your spots there as the guy who's contemplating melon ballers? Bad? It's, 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 I'm sure it's right in front of me. I can see it. All right, no problem. Yeah, you're guessing there's less than a thousand different guards there. Um, Are they dressed like the quick team, though? Can I swap no. With, uh, alertness? No, they are not dressed like the quick response team. Okay. Oh, wait. Alex is trying to swap your cards. So what will happen? Uh, if you want to no notice it, I can give you an alertness. Okay. Now they've got a shit card. Uh, here, I'll, I'll put a card on the card circle there that you can pick up and just you play the, play it. We have a card circle. Oh, yeah. Woo! We have a card circle. Right, alertness is played. I will flex this card. Right. You guys have determined that there's probably about 30 very professional mercenaries, highly armed with ARs and pistols, as well as body armor. And what's really interesting to you is they have three heavily armored but big bulky troop carrier type of uh, um, flying vehicles one of them you think or any of the three actually because they're all exactly identical is the one that shot you down the other day when Alex was getting out of the car yeah oh. so you're not digging them but they're different than these guys are totally different than the response team guys this but is a whole they were there well, they were somewhere, somewhere, yeah. But uh, yeah. But the one, the one flyer is what shot us down. Mm. Yeah, 
you're 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 believing that there's at least three to four different teams after that object. Wow. And anybody who gets in the way you're thinking is probably dead. Now the camera crews are not allowed within the building, but you can see people going in. They're in there for maybe 30 seconds to a minute, and then they come out, all of them looking very disappointed. A couple of them with bruises, like maybe they didn't want to be disappointed, and then somebody fucking butt stroked them, and now they're living with disappointment. So what we could do is one of us could go in with a f stick just to see what all is going on in there. Back to know me. Clearly not you. <laughs> I'm imagining him with an actual stick from a tree. <laughs> Well, I'm just saying, I couldn't be... I got a stick. Is it uh, pointed? The whole electricity thing is, yeah. Freak me out. But who descend to that hive of scum and villainy? Mm. I the choice. Good job, Mildred. I can go. You cheat. Okay. That's what we like to do. Right. Uh, mark off uh, uh, 20 cred, somebody. Ooh, ooh. And actually, let me just do a little shush, 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 and make you look just a bit different. Just in case ah, yeah. uh, do you have a disguise kit? No, I'm improvising. Would you like to buy a disguise kit or just use a mop? It would be more fun if I just use a mop. It, I'll assist. They Patty have disguise kits. Tries to. Uh, how much? Uh, how good? Yeah. Would you like a nice Hollywood professional style one where you do lots of different looks or something like that? Because you can buy one of those for like a, a grand. You can get one that's uh, pretty good for like 500. You can get a very basic one for uh, 200. You, the mop. you can get some fucking hair dye for 10. 10. <laughs> Got it. Okay, they've dyed your hair. What color did your hair used to be? Uh, brown, I think. Okay, it's dark black hot now. Pink. Okay. Oh, sorry, it's hot pink now. Um, uh, hot pink it is. And uh, somebody Ooh. marked off the extra twenty for the the memory stick that you guys bought. Black. Also, you had to go to three different shops because they're sold out of black for some reason. Okay. But one guy did sell you one. He marked it up double the price. I didn't get much guys. Yeah, right. You look great. exactly the same, but with hot pink hair with uh, brown highlights. That looks awesome. <laughs> That's the worst. Okay. Awkward. So when I'm in there, what are we looking for? Like, is there something special I should pay attention to? That's the problem is like yeah, we don't, don't know. know. Yeah. I'm just I'm a little bit lost because I wasn't here previous. Yeah. yeah. That makes it better. <laughs> I've actually recapped most of what we did or yeah, okay. what happened. So you know about as much as we do. Okay. So I say we just get a normal cheapy thumb drive thing. You did, that was the twenty oh, okay. that you also spent. So you got that. You stand in line, they they won't do anything to you when you okay. take it in. Just out on the though. street. I want to watch from the outside. Yeah. When she goes in, just just keep look on the outside. Okay. What do you want to be dressed in externally, Yana? With your really badly done pink hair and exactly the same face. Like some kind of normal normal looking clothes. So you're do you want just dress in your normal clothes? Probably like a clothes that doesn't stand out, like. Yeah, that's what you normally wear. I'm trying to figure out flashes and shit like that, your colors and stuff. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because you don't really have any. Because you're no. not from around here. You didn't grow up going. My colors are pink, pink, brown, like your yeah. hair. That's it. Pink, pink, brown. Maybe. <laughs> Right, you get hold of some flashes, take off two cred. Uh, okay. Right, you've got her flashes. People are going to be walking past going, oh my god. 
pink. Pink and brown is the all the colors we could have picked. We picked the four colors. I'm sorry, Yana. I'm sorry. <laughs> Neat. Just didn't mean to do it. Okay. So, um, you you get you get there. You stand in line. Uh, they have guards going up and down the line. Anybody who's a troublemaker gets uh, beat the fuck out of to where they have to be drugged. But they do get to the front of the line if they have anything resembling a drive, taken in, and then taken out, beat up some more, and tossed off to one yeah. side. So if you want to get in quick and you don't mind getting beaten <laughs> like a drum. No, it's okay. I, I'm, I'm waiting. I don't cause any trouble. No problem. Yeah, the guards are really into keeping the line nice and peaceful. Yeah. And they're also they're, they're making sure that nobody swoops in and tries to get anybody from the oh. line. So they're pretty much doing that. Uh, occasionally they'll send up one of their, uh, they'll send up like a drone to go and look around to make sure nobody's trying to sneak up on them, but they don't keep it flying all the time. Yeah. So, but the part that nobody got to see before you get into the tent, give me an electronics roll for more information. Otherwise I'll just give you a weird description. Uh, there. Electronics. What, what is my electronics? Probably you're learning. I don't know. Your character's yeah. never expressed an interest in electronics. No. So that's not good. Um, sure. I will play skill five. Great. No, nothing. All right. There's a whole bunch of, like, all the walls and stuff have, like, these, these bars on them, but they don't appear to be very solid. And there's also, like... Uh, a lot of tin foil and shit worked in on all the walls. It looks like they they were doing some sort of modern art thing on all the walls, the ceiling and the floor. <laughs> That's good. And um, there's there's uh, like six guards standing inside who look really watchful and wary, and like they're getting ready to gun down anybody who fucks with things. Yeah. Um, but they've got this testing machine. That's about the size of like if you were to take a normal toaster and chop it in half, like along along the the thing, and mm -hmm. so it's about like this big, you know, and then wider, and it has all kinds of different sized holes in the top, uh, different different button and like holes and shit, and there's one button marked reset, and then there's an unlit red light, okay, mm -hmm. and the guy takes it, he looks at the end, figures out which hole it can go into, tries a couple different ones, finds one, plugs it in, looks at the light, doesn't do anything, hits the reset button, hands it back to you. Yeah. Also, there's special weird looking bags. You recognize the bag because your party owns one. It's one of those RFID blocking bags. Mm -hmm. There's several of those in different sizes laying around on the table. There's like two or three different scientists looking guys. They're the ones plugging shit in and stuff like that. Um, and there's also cameras and shit set up in here. Uh, they're observing all of this. And when you go outside, give me a spot hidden at negative 30, Yana, because normal people would never see this in a okay. million years. Another, never, never. What? Another skill fight. Oh, okay. And oh. great. Everything's fine. You get a little lost trying to get out, but they help you out and you know, they give you back your drive. So now you've got a, a storage thing and it, it holds terabytes of information yeah. because it's the future. And off you go. Eventually okay. you manage to eventually your party tracks you down because you're wandering around lost and they come and get you and <laughs> No, I know you. that I am. <laughs> Well, yeah, but, you know, with that kind of spot hidden, you thought that they had left for ice cream or something. Okay. So, you know, <laughs> which they may have. This they is not. Did. Right. It's not an impossible thing. They may have well gone for ice cream at yeah. the critical moment. Yeah. Because, so I, yeah. I, I tell them what I saw. Great. I'm also kind of worried if they didn't, like, put anything on the drive when I was there. But... Probably not. Probably just my paranoia. Mm. Mm. Uh, we can toss it. 